Yeah, Barbados boy, won't give it up for the world. Nothing like coming home to the rock, boy, for real. Come on, let's go. Jam on the jam on the Barbados Food, Wine and Rum Festival. And of course, it's all put together by the Barbados Tourism Marketing Inc. And right now to address you, we're going to ask the chairman of the Barbados Tourism Marketing Inc. to come and give you welcome remarks. Please welcome to the stage, Mr. Alvin Gemma. Give it up for the brother one time, y'all. Come on. Thank you very much, Matt. Please forgive my voice this evening, but even with a husky voice, nothing, nothing will have stopped me from being here this evening. This is our sixth event for Barbados Food, Wine and Rum, and the festival gets, gets bigger and bigger every year. Culinary tourism is a niche that can be promoted all year round. Even as we promote the Barbados Food, Wine and Rum Festival, we have Highlighting our other dining options that are available 365 days a year, including the many celebrated restaurants, as well as the small bars and grills offering grassroots dining experiences. These are the opportunities that foodies really travel looking for. We've made some significant changes this year, which has allowed us to save significantly on taxpayers' dollars without compromising the quality of the festival. And I must congratulate the Barbados Tourism Marketing Inc. team for your job well done. We have more than 20 international media on the ground, and this will aid us in promoting the festival in 2016, when we will mount a special edition as we move towards our 50th year of independence. We have a number of prize winners from our major source markets joining us this year as well. And through these promotions, we were able to reach millions of people about the festival and the profile of Barbados as a leading culinary escape. Our website traffic at foodwinearound.com was tremendous as we have been able to grow our social media following significantly as well as through a strategic digital marketing effort. And overall, in the coming days, we will engage them with the aim at increasing their loyalty to this festival. The Afro-Tourism linkage continues to be a priority for us in the execution of the festival. And we want to thank the chefs and their teams for being so cooperative even as we insist that they use ingredients from a list of local products. Our vision is to continue to develop a truly indigenous festival, the only one with rum in its name. Yes, I agree. While continuing to reach for innovative ideas that can keep our visitors coming back. With those few words and a husky voice, I want to thank all of you for coming out this evening, and I hereby declare the 2015 festival officially open. Thank you, Mr. Alvin Gemma, the chairman of the Barbados Tourism Marketing Inc. And he said that this is the only festival that has rum in it. All the others just food and wine, or wine and food. But right now, we have a lady here, of course, you know, it's full of celebrities here all evening. We have a lady from the United States and she's coming up here and she represents the magazine called Food and Wine across the United States. She's the publisher of that magazine and she's coming to tell you all about her magazine and also tell you about Mr. Samuelson. So I want you to give a big thank you to Barbados. Give it up for Christina Gardovich. Barbados tourism and they said
we are the culinary capital of the Caribbean. Can you help us tell the world? So here's to being at the culinary capital of the Caribbean. When we invited Marcus here to join us five years ago, literally the first thing he did when he got here was come to Oysters. Marcus tells everyone he knows about Oysters. He has a new cookbook where he talks about Oysters. He talks about where you get a cousin's sandwich. So he is an ambassador to Barbados in a way that we couldn't ask for more. So how many of you, have any of you been to Marcus's restaurants in New York? Yeah. I've been a fan of Marcus for over 20 years. He now has the Red Rooster where he has literally reborn Harlem. We are so proud of him. He's cooked at the White House. He is, he's, he's the best. So let's give him a huge welcome because he's here to host a cook-off and to host his cooking demonstration. Ambassador of Barbados. Marcus Samuelson. Chris, Chris, how are you? Okay. Good. I'm so excited. We're gonna do this. Woo! But I don't want rum festival. Why am I having a beer? I'm not doing this unless I'm getting some rum. A rum punch. So does anyone have in you know, oyster? Does anyone have rum? At least is there any rum here? I think it's a rum festival. Right? I don't know how you're looking out. Chris, we got it, we got some up. Thank you. Well, what do we got? What do we got? Nice. Love your own. Okay, thank you. Is this a good stuff or what? Is this good? That's good. See? I know that you know. I know that you know. The DJ has a song here. Nice. Nice. I love it. These great songs, right? Did you try? Come and check out George or Angel or what is right? Right? There's so much good food here. There's so much good food. So this is how this is gonna go down. We're gonna have an amazing evening. I know that Friday's the big day here, but since Food and Wine came here, Thursday's the big night. So tonight is the night that matters. We're gonna have everything from cocktail competition to some of Barbados' best chefs. You guys gonna get some free food? Who likes free food? Yeah, it's good. But you know what? You wanna get your impressions of uh, the event tonight? Today's gonna be a fun day. We're here at Oysters. We're very happy to uh, do a presentation of some great Bayesian food. And then we're gonna have, after me, we're gonna have two Bayesian chefs that's gonna have at it. It's gonna be a cook off, and then we're gonna do a rum tasting. How many more events are there in this uh, festival? I've been, I've been to Barbados many, many times and I love it. And I'm so proud that I can actually do the events here at Oyster. This is, you know, this is where the party's at and it's vibrant. Excellent. Well, we hope you have a really good, successful cook-off. Yeah. Enjoy having you I mean, the island is so beautiful, but I think this also makes it very special. Very different. Right. Unique. That's why, you know, when you come to Canada or New York or Boston, where it's cold right now, you want to see something that is local. You know what? I'm not gonna cook this by myself. I need I need one volunteer. I need somebody. I need one volunteer. So what are you gonna do? Go find your one volunteer. So you go out and get Can 
start with garlic and some onions and ginger. What do you cook at home? Everything. What does that mean? Anything and everything. I love everything. If you're a tourist here, like, where should you want to go when I come on a Friday here? Like, what's your favorite stall? Well, we already called the name. Come on and tell us what you want. Come on, 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 tell us what you want. Come on,
Gemma, the chairman of the Barbados Tourism Marketing Inc. And this is the sixth year of the Food, Wine and Rum Festival. The only one of its nature in the, in the world. So could you tell us a bit about how this was conceived and uh, how we plan to use it for the furtherment of uh, the tourism product? Well, thank you very much. Uh, culinary tourism is a very special niche and Barbados is slowly developing that reputation as the culinary capital of the Caribbean. And so six years ago we thought we should have a food festival and we teamed up with food and wine and we added a rum to make it the Barbados Food, Wine and Rum Festival. This year we've made some changes so that we can get even more involvement at the local level. So you'll see here tonight at Oysters, we have the cook-off between two Barbadian chefs. Uh, tomorrow night we'll go to Lime Grove. On Saturday when we go to Polo, you'll see a lot of local chefs there as well participating. And of course you have the dining series on Saturday night to select the restaurants. Then on Sunday you have the best major barbecue at the Hilton Hotel, right on the beach. So we end with what visitors come to the Caribbean Park, especially see Sand and Sun. It's surely starting with a bang tonight. It's a very exciting event. We've already had uh, quite a, uh, a thrilling display of culinary skills and we are waiting for the cook-off now. Uh, what about next year for our 50th anniversary of independence? Well, the entire year next year is going to be special and uh, we're going to start with independence this year and go right through. But every event next year, in my mind, will be associated with our 50th year of independence. And that's a tremendous feat for a small country to be handling their own affairs for the last 50 years and doing so with pride is a great thing. This is very true. Well, Mr. Gemma, thank you very much. 
all success in the event this year and the coming festivals in celebration of the 50th anniversary next year. Thank you so much and enjoy. Thank you. Sorry. It's okay. Yeah, it is kind of hot tonight, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, is this your first time in the um, festival? No, this is actually, I think, the fifth, fifth year in the festival. It's the fifth year of the festival. Uh, have, you, have you always been involved with this uh, activity? Yes, I actually I started uh, assisting the, the international chefs, but then after that we were a part of the festival uh, with the Barbados Culinary Team. And then last year uh, was Ambrosia. Excellent. So you're looking forward to a great event tonight? Oh uh, yeah, it will be great the opening. I'm excited. Marcus is here. Craig will be here shortly and we will just get off. I understand there's a cook-off. Yeah, there's a cook-off for Craig and myself. What, are, what, are, what, are, what is on the menu for tonight? Uh, for me, I'm going to put a twist on Kuku actually. Kuku is going to have some coffee tonight. Uh -huh. And then we're going to do some eggplant with some uh, coconut curry and stuff like that. We're going to have some snapper. It's going to be fun. Excellent. Looking forward to it. I am too. Thank you very much. Cheers. Um, uh, Chef of the Year, Barbados, um, Manager of the Year, uh, Taste of the Caribbean, uh, Chef of the Year, uh, Taste of the Caribbean, um, oh, yeah. um, Give me the most attention. Give me that one more time in my back. Thank you. 
Curtis know? Beach is so beautiful. What else should they know? Food is good. Food is good, right? Alright, but we have like good drummers, right? What do we have? And oysters is happening on Friday, fish fry, fries, right? Good. So how does this work? I've never, I don't know how this works. You gotta show me. How does this work? Look, look at this. Nice, nice. Man, he knows what he's doing. Nice. What the? Do you know any basic things? Do you know anything about Barbados? Good. So we got this is the Adrian Clark and Soka. What else do you mean? Soka is surprised by my Soka. Nice. All right, so we're gonna go over your dad. We're gonna go back. Is mommy here? Who's here? Mommy here? We hanging out by yourself. Mommy's here somewhere. Good. Thank you. I didn't know that. Anyway, that's how it works out. Oh, what do we do? We're drilling the. What do we do? Drilling the bridge. Beautiful, so much. 
side you have that work is. Like that. 
Oh, we make it. Okay, we make it. Must be shaking. Nice. Nice. Okay, we gotta split the ball in two. We gotta take them off. This is looking good, Chef Chris. Third, we improve. This looks good.
it was me as raw because there was two different dishes. But we gotta let the audience, we gotta let the public decide because for me, you have all the texture and all the local food over here, which I really love. All the texture, the sauce, the varnish, it's very elegant. This can fit in any three-star restaurant, this was beautiful. Here, it was also very inventive, the bacon with the chocolate, but I think the food just brought it over the edge, right? So, one more thing, if we want if we want to hand us up to win, make some noise. If we want to Craig to win, make some noise. Can you go through that one time? Like when you do that, can you recap? 
we have it here on night, and we also have our restaurant service. We have our, we have our station station as well as our speed station. And of course, we have all the rum. Alright? So the rum. All is rum. I'm going to use three of these. I can see them like what they just now. His elbows are not the yours, that's the problem. Don't worry about hands, man. Alright? But, I think it's a herbaceous note to make off the other match. Herbaceous, you say? Yes, sir. Kind of a word. Kind of a word. Fresh ladies. Alright? But instead of muddling this, we're going to shake it all together. Because we don't want to muddle it. We need a lot more flavors to win it. Let me win it. Let me shake it. Okay. Alright? So we put these together. I just like a Sunday when we have a time. Yes, 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 sir. I noticed you didn't, I noticed you didn't joke like some other people. You just shake it. But no, you see, he took what is called mother, and I'm stirring at the rear of the machine. Alright? So with that here, we had as well I just throw it in. So we need to spice it up so we're all in. So after this, we need four dashes. Alright, four dashes. Okay, four dashes. Alright. Pour this over into our mason tape. You all know this is tight. So, uh, Mark, that's one of the things I love about bartending. Can you swear? You get to be yourself. Thank you. 
Boy, won't give it up for the world. Nothing like coming home to the rock, boy, for real. Come on, let's go. Gem of the Caribbean Sea. 